everybody, Andrea here. So this is an exciting week for dental hygienists in Ontario. A law has been passed that as long as you have an active dental hygiene license in Ontario, you have self-initiation status. So that means you can start your own practice, whether that be your own physical practice or a mobile practice. Maybe you want to go into nursing homes or even have your own dental hygiene practice in your own home. So this is very, very exciting. So I've had my own practice since 2018. Back then we had to take the extra courses. We had to have a certain amount of hours. We had to work a certain amount of years before we could start our own practice. And then of course, take the special courses, pass everything, do all of that. Now you can have your own business being a self-initiation status just by having an active dental hygiene license. So I can definitely help you guys if you have any questions. I remember back in 2018 when mobile dental hygiene wasn't really a thing, like having your own practice was unheard of. Maybe a couple hygienists here had one, maybe a couple hygienists five hours away had one, but not anywhere close to me. So I basically had to learn everything step by step, a little bit every time, and I kind of learned as I went along, meaning I made a lot of mistakes just by learning because I had nobody else to ask. So I am here for all of you guys if you have any questions. I want to show you guys a sneak peek inside my mobile RDH Academy full online course. So I made this course back in 2018 when I was starting my own practice and it has since grown since then. I have new videos basically every single month where I talk about everything you want to know about having your own dental hygiene practice. I am specific to mobile so I go into clients homes but I also see clients in my own home which I just saw a little kid last night hence all of the stuff you kind of see in the background and I love having my own business. I can't imagine working in a dental office again. I can't imagine working for a dental office again. Um, you, you couldn't pay me to work for somebody else. It's really nice to have your own business. But a lot of you are probably thinking like, Andrea, I don't know where to start. I've never had my own business before. Do I need a lawyer, accountant, insurance? Don't worry. I talked to you guys about all of that inside the course. There are several hours, many, many videos in the modules where I talk about all of that. I talked to you guys about things like, are you going to be a sole proprietor or are you going to be incorporated? What is better for you? For example, I started off at as a sole proprietor, but I'm now incorporated and that has saved me a ton of money come tax time. But that was only until I started making a certain amount of money. There's no point being incorporated unless you have multiple streams of income and unless you're making a big chunk of money, which I talk about that inside the course. But I also talked to you guys about what I needed when I first started my dental hygiene business, when I first started my mobile business. Um, I took out approximately a $30,000 loan. I only ended up using 25,000 of it, which is a lot, but I did have to go through the whole loan process, but I was able to pay all of that back within eight months. I was working so hard. I made so much money. It was fantastic. But I also teach you guys inside the course things that I purchased that I really didn't need right away, but I didn't know that because I didn't have somebody to tell me that. I also tell you where you can shop around. You don't have to spend, for example, $4,000 on an intraoral camera. You can get one from Amazon. So I kind of give you guys the links for that too. But then I also talk about things that I wish I had purchased right away that I waited to purchase, such as my dental hygiene software. I was fully on paper. I submitted all of my claim forms on paper. If I had just invested the $3,000 in a dental hygiene software, I have an amazing one, by the way. Um, it's not expensive and it's for dental hygienists. Um, if I had just done that right away, that would have saved me so many hours of work initially. So I talked to you about things that might cost a little more now, but you're going to want to spend or I suggest spending right away. I also have my own sterilization lab in my own home. So if you decide to do that, I talked to you guys about that too. Talking about insurance quickly though, have you ever submitted things electronically to insurance? Are you going to have it so that patients pay you cash and then they submit everything on their behalf or are you going to do it for them? I teach you guys how to do it both ways depending on what you want to do. I teach you guys how to submit things electronically. I used to be a dental receptionist so that really helped me with the insurance aspect now. I was also a dental assistant so I booked appointments. I did all of that. 
because having your own business as a dental hygienist, you are going to be wearing all of the hats. You'll be booking appointments. You'll be finding patients. You'll be scheduling appointments. What if somebody cancels? What, what if somebody no shows, you know, what if somebody doesn't pay? So I go through all of that inside the course. So let me show you guys a quick sneak peek. I'll stop talking so much. I'm sorry. I'm just really excited for Ontario dental hygienists. This is so amazing for all of you. I wish I had this opportunity back then where, you know, the doors are open for you. You can get started. So here's what the mobile RDH Academy looks like. Just a little sneak peek. If you notice all of the modules here, there's tons of videos. Let me make the screen a bit bigger for you here. Um, so there's tons to look at. So let's say before you want to learn about how to get a business loan, you would just click on that file folder there and then a video is going to pop up for Facebook you. TV. You click play I just and you will hear and I me said, talk um, about it. Okay. I, I try to keep the video short and sweet so it's not too overwhelming for you. But let's say you want to go down to um, how I book appointments the easiest way. So I actually teach you guys how I personally book appointments click play and then Hello, it's going to go through the so video that way let's do a couple more just to kind of show you guys but look just keep on scrolling down there's tons of videos this isn't a basic like five video course learn how to be a mobile dental hygienist no this is hours and hours and hours but it's going to be fun you can listen to me teaching you these things while you're doing laundry while you're cooking dinner while you're doing something right i teach you guys everything so i think it's pretty cool what about um i talked to you guys about how i was able to get 534 active clients in two years because the thing about having your own dental hygiene well, business dental is hygienist. great is but that? your main so concern made... is probably going to be well andrea what if i can get clients i've never had to do this before I teach you guys all of this because what I want to end this video with is it's amazing to have your own dental hygiene business, but it's going to take work. Not everybody has that stamina to do it, but I can't imagine having it any other way. Do you want to continue? I'm just going to pick a number. Do you want to continue making $50 per hour at the dental office or do you want to make $300 per hour in some cases? I would much rather make $300 per hour, right? It's not about the money. It's about the patients first, but you will always hear me say business is a very close second. If you don't have good business savvy, if you're not in it to make a profit and then you wonder why you're not making money, you know, you kind of have to wonder, right? So I teach you guys all about the patients, but then all about the business as well. But then I also teach you guys how to be the best mobile dental hygienist you can be. So you're really offering such an amazing service to your patients because at the end of the day, we are here for the patients and this is such a great opportunity for them. They get the opportunity of a dental hygienist coming into their own home. Talk about convenience. Talk about those who are anxious. Well, having you come into their own home, they're probably not going to be anxious anymore. Um, kids who go to the dental office kicking and screaming. Well, wouldn't it be so much nicer if, if you came into their home? Patients will love you. They will look forward to their appointments and it's so much more convenient for them. So you guys, let me know if any questions. I'll leave the link down below for you for the Mobile RDH Academy. I'm not trying to t um, sell you my course or anything, but I really feel I have a huge offer for you. Like I can offer you so much value. I can help you get started with your dental hygiene business. So you don't have to wonder, you don't have to look at 20 different websites, ask 20 different people, not really knowing what's happening. I have it all in there for you in module formats where I teach you in videos. So again, you guys look at all of these modules and there are more updates every single month as more updates become available. I've been doing this since 2018. There's always more to teach you and I am here. You have full support by me. I am happy to answer any of your questions. So if you're inside the course, you get full access to me. So let me know you guys if any questions. I'll leave the link for you down below. But if you go to dentalL.com and then the category dental professionals on the website, you will see Mobile RDH Academy right there. So have fun, you guys. This is exciting. Happy Friday or depending on when you're watching this video. But I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.